I'm wearing gluten-free trousers, I mean gluten-free shorts. Gluten-free shorts. I'm wearing gluten-free hair wax. So we're filming, we actually are going to make a Christmas gluten-free Christmas cake. Now we're praying and hoping this comes out because have you ever made a Christmas cake before? No. No, never have I. I love ever. Cakes. Starting off with 500 grams of gluten-free flour. Everywhere is selling gluten-free flour now. <clears throat> there was a lot of supermarkets that didn't even... Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. I kind of read about gluten. I had, I had heard of gluten-free. But I kind of had to read about it to know more about it. It's all so sort of sand. sand. That's what flour. And I haven't touched it in so long. That's what flour feels like. Right. When was the last time you baked? Never. Let's put it in. Yeah, we're just gonna wing it because you have just the whole the whole lot because we measured out the flour already. That's uh, five hundred grams. Wait, how do I mix it? What do I mix it with? Um, I spoon, but we needed to mix some other stuff in with it because what we needed to do we're gonna it. is. This is very funny. We yeah. should call the video like cooking gone wrong or baking gone wrong. Well, we don't know whether it's going to go wrong yet, do we? Well, well opening this, opening these tins is very wrong because it's so hard. Lion's golden syrup. That's an advert right there. Golden you know, syrup. we're just going to hashtag this up the golden syrup. So I'm just like going for marmalade. It's going to be so so wrong. So, oh my god, that's two. Halfway there, Still some more. Can we get closer? Go on, follow me, follow me, follow me. Tell me, look. That's just a little bit grim. Basically what you want to do, you don't want to smack it too hard. Like you're chucking it off someone's head because it's just going to shatter everywhere. Like, yeah. Dumpty Dumpty fell off a wall, you know? Yeah. So you just do a light... This is kind of the wrong edging of a bowl to do it. You're better off on a, like, perfect one. But you just light little tap. Like that. Not too hard, but Humpty Dumpty will come out like that. This is my egg. So, remember, on the side. Just slightly tap it because you don't want to smash it like Humpty Dumpty. Right, that's it. Okay, and then I'll put my fingers in. Yeah, and just pull it apart. Yeah, but I don't want the shell to fall in the thing. Yeah, but you can always pick the shell out afterwards if it does go in because Ooh. some bits do sometimes go in. So, yeah. now tip it up. Tip it up, that way. Up. No, down. So you're pouring it out, pour it out. There you go, done. That's it, done. Do I need to get all that shit out? There you go, did it. Right, and then that's it, you can chuck that back in there. Or whatever. And, I don't see a single piece of shell in there. I did it right. Oh, and we skip it a spoon. about six tablespoons of the brown sugar but I'm just going to free pour it because what is a... I don't want to free pour it, you want to hold the bowl? Of course. Just a little advert, what I've found from Tesco, you can actually get the mixed fruit. So, you know, there's an ad right there, you can actually get the mixed fruit. So, there's an advert right there. Uh, it's getting looser. That's the good this, this is the part where I would add these um, glassier cherries. Uh, a little advert, because I'm just going to like hashtag Tesco into every one of these. You know? So, if, if anyone from Tesco is watching and wants to hit us up with some free club card every points, little helps. Yeah, every little helps. We're actually not going to say no to free club card points right now. Adding more treacle. I want that time. Mine's still going. Mine's been on the whole time. Right, we're gonna add some more treacle to the thing. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Can we just tip? Are we just tipping it? No, we need. We need a little. Are metal. we in? Yeah, we are. Right. We need a metal spoon. So I'm just coming back to show you what the uh, cake looks like. So we're going to go over to the oven. Uh, we have had it on oh 200 degrees. That's quite a lot actually, to be fair. So let me have a I'll show you. Hundred. Well, no, it was on 200 now. Um, go down. Go down. 
been in there for how long? About an hour and a half now? It's been there for about an hour. So you can see like it's like rose a little bit, like it's obviously the flower's gone up. I feel like I'm chatting so much shit, but it looks right, it's getting pretty brown. Um, but yeah, we're gonna quickly just leave that in there for a few more minutes. We're gonna check out the cake and then that's it. We'll decorate it probably with icing, maybe a bit of whipped cream, and then pretty much it. So we will see you for the finished product. Bye bye. Take it out, I'll go now. Do you want a living cleaner? Huh? Do you want a living cleaner? A living cleaner, you can get it for us. Alright, actually, it's better. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Dump it on the bottle. But it needs to cool down before we put it down somewhere. Just don't wash it up during this still here. That's a brand new bag. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, gluten free. Gluten free coming out, right? But do you know what I can smell? It's, it, honestly, it's, it smells like. Um, it smells like cinnamon, but we didn't add any cinnamon into it. That's what I can kind of smell, but that's from the currants and the raisins and stuff like that. Cake is now out of the oven. We've put the cake on the side. We're going to decorate her with icing and whipped cream. You can't make sure, but that's not going to go over the side yet. You know? Mm -hmm. It needs to be a bit. In a circle, so I think maybe cut some off here. And then you, to, you can always add to it. Like a quarter like that. And then rub that down onto it. You can even like knead it in your hands. You can even knead it in your hands like that, so it's kind of like it's exactly the same as doing a pizza sort of um, base, but you kinda of wanna I mean, if it's too large, you can always cut round the cake afterwards with a knife. Cut round the cake. It needs to be here. So what we're going to do, there, yeah, a bit too far over, a bit, a bit to the right. So that's where it's going to... Right, so basically what you do, you've got this, and I'm literally just going to drop it down. There we go. Perfect. And then we have our Christmas cake. I've got a picture on Google. That's obviously Santa, and that's obviously Mrs. Claus. So I'm gonna have that here as my inspiration, and I'm gonna to attempt to draw on the pick. I'm just literally gonna keep going around until I've got a circle. That's not a fucking circle, is it? No. cake has actually finished being decorated now so like we showed you before this was the inspiration mrs claus on the right there looking beautiful and this is what we did well i did it lee was just laughing at me um yeah so i've got mrs claus that looks nothing like her but the attempt is there so i would say we did okay Video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. There will be another video coming out tomorrow. Don't know what it is, but Lee's gonna have some coming out too. So stay tuned and see us then. Bye.